Godzilla is one of the coolest monsters ever, which is why for the next 100 days, I'll be surviving as something even stronger, Warden Godzilla. This kaiju has all the incredible nuclear abilities of Godzilla, combined with the crushing powers of a warden, while growing into even bigger forms. Will I be able to fulfill my destiny and defeat Wither King Ghidorah? You'll have to watch until the end to find out. On day one, I spawned in as a baby warden Godzilla in my kaiju home. My mom and dad were happily watching over me. Hello, my boy. We're so happy to finally be together. Suddenly, the sky changed to red as Wither King Ghidorah flew over us. It looks like the prophecy has come true. The birth of the first warden Godzilla. I will stop this now. You will not overthrow me as the ultimate kaiju. He unleashed his wither minions to terrorize our home and used his dragon blast attack to begin destroying everything. Leave my family alone. My dad unleashed his Godzilla abilities onto King Ghidorah, but they weren't enough to stop him. Wither King Ghidorah set his sights on him and defeated my dad with a powerful Wither Black Hole attack. Dad, no! You're next! On day two, my mom and I were running for our lives from Ghidorah's minions. We ran as far away as we could, but to our horror, we were soon cornered at the edge of a deep icy chasm. We had nowhere to run. I won't let you hurt my son! My mom turned on the minions and began fighting for our lives. Although she was outnumbered, she managed to survive the attack. Unfortunately, it wasn't long before Wither Ghidorah himself arrived. Your struggle is useless. Prepare to die. He unleashed another powerful attack, fatally wounding my mom. Mom! Stay strong. I love you. Using the last of her strength, she fired one final attack at Wither Ghidorah, hitting him head on. He plummeted from the sky down into the depths of the icy chasm below. I thought I was safe, but to my horror, the edge of the cliff I was on crumbled under my feet. I landed in powdered snow and the cold overwhelmed me. It wasn't long before I froze over and everything went dark. On day three million, the ice block I was trapped in was thawed out inside of a laboratory. I was surrounded by human scientists. What a strange creature. I wonder if the Wither one survived too. Did you say Wither? Suddenly, the alarms in the facility began to go off and the ceiling exploded over us. Wither King Ghidorah had been released back into the world. Foolish humans. Now I can finish where I have left off. He set his sights on me and attacked with his crushing powers. I had no choice but to run for my life. Our test subject is getting away. Capture him. The scientists ran after me and I found myself in twice as much trouble. Just then, my warden powers activated, allowing me to see enemies through the walls. I can use this to my advantage. I used my warden echolocation to pick up an escape route. On days four through five, I arrived at the end of the passage to find myself cornered in Side of a nuclear testing room. I was now caught between the swarm of masked scientists and a vat of nuclear waste. We've got you now. The scientists readied their weapons and fired at me. I managed to dodge it, but in the process, I plunged into the toxic waste behind me. Ah! However, to my surprise, the waste didn't kill me. Instead, I felt a new power surge through my body, causing me to transform into a bigger and more powerful state. I now had five more hearts and new warden powers. I emerged from the waste, ready to fight. Get away from me! In my new form, I was able to unleash a sonic boom from my warden chest, blasting the scientists away. They tried to fight back, but their weapons weren't enough to stop me anymore. I slapped out warden powers infused in my claws and defeated them with my new strength. That's the power of a warden Godzilla. Just as I was about to flee, I heard the sound of someone calling for help. <laughs> Oh no, someone else is trapped here. I need to save them. On days six through seven, I arrived at the other part of the facility to find the massive monkey kaiju King Kong trapped inside of a cage. Don't worry, I'll save you. Just then, a mech guard stopped me in my tracks. He was the biggest guard I had seen thus far. None of our test subjects are leaving this lab. The guard unleashed his metal fist attack on me, dealing massive damage. The mech charged at me using his jetpack 
attacks to fuel his movements. He wound up his arm and slugged me hard. I tried to fight back with my abilities, but they were much stronger than the other scientists I had defeated. I was going to have to be creative. I landed a powerful sonic boom ability, causing the mech to stumble back into a machine. It sent out an electric shock, stunning him temporarily. Now is my chance. I rushed to King Kong and freed him from his cage. Warning Godzilla, I thought you were extinct. The guard broke out of the rubble and continued his attack. We needed to get out of here. Hang on. King Kong used his ax to smash through the wall of the facility. Together, we ran through the escape route and made it outside, just as the lab crumbled down behind us. Now that I know you're alive, I have something important to show you. Come with me. On days 8 through 9, King Kong took me back to my birthplace. It had been lost to time, and plants had grown over everything. Stand back. King Kong broke down a boulder, revealing a massive book that was hidden. What is that? As if by instinct, I walked towards the book. But when I touched it, I was sent into a vision. The Wither King Ghidorah has ruled over the world as the ultimate kaiju for years. However, it has been told that a warden Godzilla would be born to one day overthrow this great evil. Only the warden Godzilla has the power to stop the Wither King Ghidorah before he completely destroys the world. Suddenly, I returned back to reality. It all makes sense now. I have to grow my power and fulfill my destiny by defeating the Wither King Ghidorah. Just as King Kong and I were about to leave, one of us accidentally stepped onto a pressure plate. Man-made weapons appeared all around us and began firing at me. And my friend, my home had been trapped. On days 10 through 12, King Kong and I were under attack by human traps. I unleashed my Warden Godzilla abilities, leveling the machines one by one. Together, King Kong and I managed to destroy them all. Looks like the humans have been here already. We need to not only look out for King Ghidorah, but also them. Suddenly, I spotted a map in the rubble and picked it up. I thought it was a good lead, so King Kong and I decided to see where it would take us. We reached the destination on the map and found a testing site where scientists were observing a wolf monster inside of a giant tube. Are they trying to make their own kaiju? We tried to get a closer look, but King Kong accidentally set off another trap. A cage appeared around him, and the scientists spotted us. They're the runaway test subjects. Get them! They released their biological weapon from the test tube, sending the monster running straight towards me. The mutant kaiju swung his sword at me. It was clear that they matched my own abilities, but I wasn't about to lose here. I fought back with my warden claws, leveling the playing field. The mutant kaiju ran towards me and pierced the ground with his sword, making boulders appear. I dodged the boulders that were about to hit me, and I used my powers against him. The mutant kaiju retaliated by summoning swords that fell from the sky, creating a barrier between him and I, protecting himself from my deadly attacks. My warden Godzilla powers were doing great damage against him. He jumped in the air, avoiding my hits, in which he fell downwards toward me, and struck me heavily with his sharp sword. I mustered all the power in me and used my warden beam, ultimately defeating the mutant kaiju. No cheap copycat can defeat a real kaiju. Upon his death, he dropped a mysterious nuclear container, which I took for myself. The item caused my body to once again change shape. I grew even bigger and more powerful than before. I gained five more hearts in my Godzilla atomic beam. Face the wrath of Warden Godzilla! I used my new powers to destroy the testing site, killing the scientists that had attacked me, and released my friend from his prison. Thank you, Zilla. Just then, I spotted one of the scientists getting away. Get back here! I chased after them, determined to stop their organization now. On days 16 to 18, I followed the escaping scientist until I arrived at some sort of city. There, I saw Mothra under attack by human soldiers. Please, stop. I don't want to hurt you. It won't end well. Kill that monster at all costs, men! Don't you dare make peace with it! They all fired their deadly weapons at her until she plummeted from the sky under the ground below. No! Leave her alone! 
I ran in with rage and fought off the soldiers. They were tougher than the scientists, but still didn't stand a chance thanks to my new and improved form. Bring in the tanks! Did he just say tanks? The soldiers rolled out in high armored tanks to try and defeat me with their heavier and more powerful weapons. Nice try, losers. I managed to land a powerful hit on the ground, causing them to fall into a pit. The rest of the ground troops ran away in fear. All soldiers, fall back, fall back! Quickly, I ran to Mothra's side. Are you okay? No, they poisoned me. The only way to save me now is to find the three ingredients needed for a cure. I won't let you die. Leave it to me. She handed me a list, and I hurried before it was too late. On days 19 to 22, I began my search for all of the items on the list. The first item was a dark fireball, which was to be found underground. This could be anywhere. Good thing I'm a warden. I used my warden powers to sense for it until I spotted its location. I barreled through the cave until I arrived, and just like that, I obtained the first item. Only two more to go. I will save Mothra. The second item was a reality crystal that could be found underwater in the depths of the ocean. I went into the water and used my Godzilla water breathing abilities to navigate. I managed to find the reality crystal, but a mutant mana ray was circling around it. I better get the jump on them. I used my power to knock them down and obtained the reality crystal. Only one more item to go. I looked at my list and realized that the final item is a demon seal, which can only be found in the nether, which is wither territory. This place is dangerous for a warden like me, but I'll do anything to save Mothra. On days 23 to 26, I made it to the nether. Unfortunately for me, the place was guarded by a scary wither guardian. Just my luck. I could see the demon seal I needed in the distance, but I wasn't sure how to get past the guard. Wait a second, I'm a warden. I have fire resistance. I stepped into one of the nearby lava pools and swam through it to avoid the wither guardian. Thanks to my fire resistance and Godzilla powers, I could navigate through the lava as if it was water. I made it to the demon seal and grabbed the final piece of the cure when suddenly the wither guardian spotted me. Beef. I'll make you pay for your actions. Please, I need this for my friend. You won't be needing it when you're dead. The Wither Guardian came after me, dealing loads of damage with their attacks. He ran towards me, smashing me between his bony hands. He spun, whirling around his arms, slashing out around me, landing numerous hits on me. I used my warden powers to fight the Wither back, but he wasn't giving up. He smashed the ground, creating black puddles that oozed from within the ground, giving me the Wither effect. I fought back with everything I had and came up with an idea, but not before Wither Skulls came whirling towards me from his direction. I blasted them away with my sonic boom to clear a path and retreated through a portal back to the overworld. Hang in there, Mothra. I'm coming. On days 27 to 30, I returned to Mothra and combined all the ingredients into a cure. Mothra, here, drink it. I gave it to her and she was able to recover before it was too late. I feel amazing. You saved me. Suddenly, a portal ripped open and the Wither Guardian stepped through. I was being followed. Hand over my demon seal, you thief. Sorry, it's already gone. He attacked me with his giant slam attack, sending sickening puddles of poisonous wither everywhere. I fought back with my warden abilities. It was round two with this guy, and I felt renewed vigor to defend Mothra, but he was tough. He sent massive deadly skulls exploding into my kaiju form. I thought I was done for until Mothra intervened. Take this. Mothra backed me up with a radioactive wind blast. With our combined strength, we were able to defeat the Wither Guardian, leaving only his disgusting skull behind. We make a good team. Yeah, we do. Hey, check it out. Upon his death, he dropped a map. This might be a clue to how I could get even stronger. Let's move. On days 31 to 34, I made it to the location on the map to discover another nuclear artifact being concealed in the side of a mountain. That's gonna be mine. I used my powers to blast through the mountain. It crumbled to pieces and I was able to get to the nuclear artifact. However, before I could, the ground began to tremble. A massive fire giant exploded out of the mountain.
Oh, sorry. I hate being woken up. I didn't mean to. Wait, really? Let me just grab that nuclear nugget and I'll leave. I promise. This went from zero to a hundred real quick. The fire giant attacked me with his vicious blows. They used their fire abilities on me, stronger than anything I have ever faced so far. They surged downwards and attacked me with their fiery sword, flames catching me off guard. With my word and abilities, I fired beams at them while they continued to swing. I tried to put distance between us by climbing my way up the mountain, but they just flew right up without missing a beat. My powerful stomps pushed them back a little, but their ring of firepower caught me at my feet, knocking me down the mountain again. I saw my opportunity to jump for the nuclear artifact and grabbed it, gaining five hearts and new powers. Take this! I unleashed my new abilities and defeated the monster. Just then, I heard an explosion in the distance. That doesn't sound good. I followed the source of the chaos. On days 35 to 38, I arrived at the source of the explosion to find a power plant that was being destroyed by the Wither King Ghidorah. Well, if it isn't the warning Godzilla, you've made this easy. You better watch your tongue. I've grown stronger since our last encounter. Oh yeah, I think your ego has inflated because of that prophecy. That prophecy is true. I will defeat you. Prophecy or not, you will never be anything more than a weak Godzilla like your parents. In the blink of an eye, he attacked me. Explosions filled the area around me. All of my attacks bounced harmlessly off of him. Everything I threw at him rendered me useless. Hundreds of Wither Skulls flew straight at me. He was the master of the Withers. The Wither Ghidorah threw a black hole at me, blinding me in the process. But I retaliated with my electrifying lightning bolts that shocked him straight to his core. Whirlwinds were thrown straight at me, and I wasn't able to dodge them as the wind around me answered only to the Wither King himself. He came down from the sky and bit my horns. But before I could hit him, he flew right back out of my reach. It didn't take long for me to realize that despite my growth, I clearly wasn't strong enough to fight him. That teeny bit of radiation isn't enough to stop me. Die! With victory in sight, he went in for the kill. I quickly blasted a hole into the ground and leapt in, escaping just before he hit me. I landed inside of a deep, dark cavern where it looked like some humans had set up a studying site long ago. What is all this? I poked around and found a note that told me about the humans researching a nuclear site that was related to a powerful warden monster that fed off of radiation. Huh, looks like they were studying me. Maybe there's something at the nuclear site that can make me stronger. With a new destination in mind, I set off on a search for the nuclear site mentioned in the note. On days 39 to 42, I made it to the nuclear site where I found some humans investigating. Sorry everyone, but you need to get out of here. I roared and tried to scare them off, but these humans were quick to attack. Send out the killer bot! A killer robot whirled out from a container, intent on capturing me. Target acquired. I'll turn you into scrap metal. I charged the giant robot, slashing with my claws. I fired my atomic breath at the robot. He endured the blast, shooting back with his massive guns. His aim was precise, finding all my weak spots. Our fight rumbled through the site, uncaring of the fleeing scientists. I unleashed my powers, but the robot was terrifyingly resilient. I tried to go in for the giant stomp attack, but the killer robot just knocked me away with a pistol whip. The killer robot suddenly released a flurry of kicks, knocking me into the mysterious nuclear pit. What? This isn't right. The strange pit made me feel drowsy. I passed out. When I woke up, I was in a testing chamber, surrounded by scientists. Looks like our test subject is awake. It's time to extract his power. The machine wired to life. I was done for. On days 43 to 46, I was about to have my power extracted. There was no way I was gonna go down without a fight, though. Take this!
this! I used my sonic boom to blast through the machine, creating a huge hole that I managed to run out of. No! Don't let him escape! I fought off the scientists left and right. Before I could land a blow on a particular one, though, she called out to me. Wait, please! I don't want to hurt you. Suddenly, the robot from before arrived to stop me. Eliminate Godzilla threat. Oh, no, you don't. She used a golden remote to deactivate the robot. She really was on my side. More coming. Follow me. Without hesitation, I escaped with the scientist while I still could. On days 47 to 50, the defected scientist and I managed to find some cover away from the lab. Thanks for helping me back there. I'm Bronzo, by the way. Well, Bronzo, I'm Laura. So why did you help me back there? I think you're trying to protect us from something bigger. We just don't see it. Exactly. I'm not the threat here. Wither Ghidorah is. Uh, Wither Ghidorah what now? You know what? Forget it. All you need to know is he ruled millions of years ago with a reign of terror. And we released it back into the world? You've got that right, but everyone has only attacked me. You just have to gain their trust, and I think I know how. I followed the scientists to find a village under attack by Wither King Ghidorah's minions. They swarmed around like raptors, while a large winged one shot down destruction from above. This is horrible. We have to help. I fought off the minions with my powers, stomping on the raptors, drawing their attention away from the villagers. The small dinos snapped at my toes, but I was too too huge for them to handle. I was raining lightning down on the swarm, dealing them lots of damage when the larger flying wither sword began hurling skulls at me. Quickly, I hurled one last lightning storm on the smaller raptors, finishing them off. Then I turned to the boss. It continued to fire at me, and I used my warden's sonic boom, damaging it severely. It threw a black hole at me, trapping me momentarily. In a rage, I blasted it with my ultimate beam and knocked the wither sword out of the sky. Now on even ground, I used one last sonic boom, killing the enemy. Thanks to my intervention, I saved the village. Whoa, you actually fought those things off? Are you not actually trying to kill us? No, I'm not. Wow. Well, when you go around destroying buildings, people just kind of assume, you know? Sorry, you're all just so small. I am trying to defeat the thing that is trying to kill you. Do you know where I can find some radiation? I'll do anything to protect my home. I know where to find some. Come with me. I followed the villager as they led me off to my next destination. On days 51 to 54, I was taken to a massive door that was sealed shut. There is something that can help you pass these doors, but nobody has been able to open them. Maybe they just need the right person to try. I used my warden powers on the door, causing them to open. Yes! Thanks, villager! Good luck. I continued through the doors alone. Deeper inside, I found the next nuclear artifact waiting for me. However, before I could get it, I was stopped by a warden guardian. Please give me the nuclear ingot. I need it to get stronger. Only if you can beat me in combat. The guardian attacked me. He was crushing his fists down in front of me, pushing me backwards. He unleashed warden ripples through the ground, reverberating underneath me. With my power powerful stomp, I knocked him back, making him lose his balance. It was beam versus beam, and his was unstoppable. I summoned strong lightning as he struck his fire powers back. I fought back with my own powers, but he was able to dodge thanks to his warden senses. Is that all you've got? He attacked me again, blasting me back into the wall. This wasn't good. I was on the ropes. On days 55 to 58, I was about to get hit with a killing blow, but I managed to dodge it, thanks to my powerful senses. You're not the only one who has warden powers. Take this! I landed my most powerful attack on him, and he stood back, taking every hit, not being able to defend himself. Not bad. You are worthy of the nuclear ingot. He vanished into thin air, never to be seen again. I had finally defeated the warden guardian. I walked towards the nuclear ingot, claiming it for my own. I gained five hearts, and the warden shockwave power. I love the the taste of nuclear radiation in the morning. Suddenly, I heard my scientist friend screaming. Ah! Oh no, Laura, I'll be right there. I ran as fast as I could out the giant doors. Laura, where are you? I found her face to face with Wither King Ghidorah himself. Well, well, well. 
If it isn't Warden Godzilla, so kind of you to join us here. Not you again. Suddenly, he charged towards me, ready to attack. On days 59 through 62, I was under attack by the monstrous Wither King Ghidorah. I tried to defend the scientist, but I wasn't strong enough, so all I could do was distract the Wither Ghidorah from causing any harm to her. Finally, I can defeat you by my own hands once and for all. Then, I'll take care of your little human friend. I won't let you, if it's the last thing I do. Not so fast. Suddenly, Mothra swooped in, out of nowhere, and landed next to me, ready to aid me in battle. Together, we tried to fight the Wither Ghidorah. I'm going to make you regret showing up, Mothra. Face my ultimate power. He used his massive attack, fatally wounding Mothra. The fierce monster fell to the ground in defeat. No! Mothra! Find my people. They have a nuclear artifact that can help you win. I know you can do this. You're the only one that can protect my people for me. The last few words slipped out of her softly as she passed away in front of me. How dare you? The Wither King Ghidorah was busy celebrating his victory against Mothra. So I turned to the scientist and we both ran away as fast as we could while he was distracted. We managed to escape in one piece and I turned towards the previously closed door. Your sacrifice won't be in vain, Mothra. I'll find your people and bring justice to your name. On days 63 to 66, I cautiously explored all around the surrounding areas until I found a civilization of moth creatures with Lara by my side. This must be the place Mothra was talking about. I'll go in first. You stay, just in case something happens. Okay. Good luck, Bronzo. I left my friend behind and stepped towards the moth civilization. But before I could get any closer, I was stopped by a guard. If you wish to speak to our leader, you must prove that you are worthy of doing so. Pass our trial and we will give you the privilege to speak to him. I'll do it. Bring it on. I was taken to a trial where an obstacle course stood over a flaming pit of lava. This seems easy enough. I began platforming over with ease, but I reached a part that required wings. Well, looks like I'm going to have to find another way that doesn't require flying. I surveyed the area around me, but the only way was down through the lava itself. Here goes nothing. I dove into the lava and swam to the finish line with ease. Maybe I should have done that to begin with, but I did it. We can go inside now. We? Who's we? The moth guard looked around the area, only to see Lara, who was waiting near the start of the lava trial. What? A human? We cannot trust humans. You are banned from this colony for bringing danger to our land. Before I knew it, I was kicked out of the trial area and banned from speaking to the leader. As I began to lose hope, I spotted a cave entrance and headed towards it. On days 67 to 70, my scientist friend and I traveled through the cave in hopes to find a secret entrance into the colony. I used my warden echolocation powers to look up ahead and found that there was an incoming moth guard. Oh no, where do we hide? I've got this. You go ahead. The scientist and I split up and she made a sound to distract the guard. Over here! Huh? Who goes there? The guard went after her, running past me. I slowly walked deep into the cave while the moth guard continued his search for Lara. I made it out of the other side of the cave with ease to find the nuclear artifact I was seeking. There it is! And there it will stay. Suddenly, I was faced with the moth leader himself. On days 71 through 74, the moth leader stood between the artifact and myself, creating a barrier. You're the kaiju who dared to bring a human here? You will pay for your actions! The leader charged at me, landing a heavy attack. He began spitting acid at me, sending globs of purple poison raining down on me. His attacks were concentrated and extremely potent, taking a lot of my hearts with each hit. I immediately fired back with my warden sonic booms and watched as they ripped through his body. He flew back and forth all around me, spraying me with his poison rain. But my lightning attack was powerful enough to hold them off. 
I turned my beams toward him, blasting my warden powers left and right, finally managing to land a good hit that dealt a lot of damage. In spite of that, he summoned strong tornadoes that tore through the arena. It was enough to catch me off guard, bringing me to dangerously low health. He took the opportunity to slash at me with his razor sharp wings, but I was able to leap into the air and stomp, keeping him at bay. It was hard to fight someone that I didn't want to defeat. The last thing I wanted to do was hurt him, but I was forced to defend myself from his attacks. I promised Mothra to protect her people though. I had to try and explain myself. Please, this is all a misunderstanding. Mothra- He attacked me again, but I was able to dodge his attack until suddenly, Lara called out to me. Rosa! She tossed me the nuclear artifact, allowing me to gain five hearts and Mothra's nuclear whirlwind power. You! You'll pay for that! Wait, Mothra sent us! We don't mean any harm. We're here to help. Please! Wait, uh, Mothra sent you? Yes! The last words Mothra said was to come here and find you guys! Last words? So the feeling I had was true. My daughter is dead. Your daughter? I'm sorry. I didn't know. She died bravely fighting against Wither Ghidorah. Thank you, Warden Godzilla. Maybe you're good enough after all if Mothra trusted you enough to send you here. Before I could talk more, the place was invaded by King Ghidorah's goons. On days 75 to 78, the Moth leader and I fought off the goons. Destruction ensued in the battlefield. We may have been big in size, but they were big in numbers. But it was nothing we couldn't handle. Acid and electricity danced across the field, hurling towards the enemies from all directions, both from the sky and the ground. They had nothing against the Moth leader and I's powers, clearing out the goons. Only the Withersore leader remained, but Mothra and I defeated him with a double nuclear whirlwind. Thanks to my new powers and the help of my allies, I was able to take them all down. Sorry about the misunderstanding. Any friend of Mothra is a friend of ours. I should have said that Mothra had sent us from the beginning. Suddenly, I spotted a stray goon running away in the corner of my eye. Oh no you don't. Come back here. I tailed behind him, but he was too fast for me to catch up to. I chased him until I arrived at the nether. There, I saw the minions in the distance, building a strange device. I listened in for any vital information. Soon, the device will be ready for the Wither King Ghidorah. <laughs> that's right. Once this device is complete, you will have enough power to destroy the Warden Godzilla and the world. Oh no, this is bad news. I have to stop them. Before I was able to intervene, the runaway minion gave away my location. Guys, I've been followed. It's the Warden Godzilla. Get him! On days 79 through 82, I was being attacked by the Ghidorah minions. Out of my way! I went straight for the machine, but before I could destroy it, the area got filled with sleeping gas. Everything went dark. I woke up inside of a chamber, where one of his minions was watching me attentively. Look who's finally awake. Enjoy your sleep. What do you want with me? Well, we're going to kill you so the Wither King Ghidorah can complete his plans. Any more questions? Actually, it doesn't matter because I won't answer them. The machine powered on, but before I was killed, King Kong arrived. Leave my friend alone. He cleaved through the Wither Skeletons. Each swing of his axe killed more and more of them. Victorious, he then broke the machine containing me. I got a lead on the final nuclear artifact. It's in my home on Skull Island. Thanks for saving me. Let's go. I followed him before it was too late. On days 83 to 86, I arrived at Skull Island to find that the entire place had been set on fire. What happened here? I don't know, but we need to get to the bottom of it. You go on ahead. King Kong stayed behind to put out the flames, and I began searching for the source. It didn't take long for me to find a T-Rex terrorizing the island, all in the name of Wither King Ghidorah. Yes, everything will burn for the Wither King. Not while I'm here. I intervened, attacking the monster before it could do more harm. The T-Rex roared angrily at the sudden interruption sending a soul breath of death and destruction towards me. I summoned an electrifying lightning storm that rained over the T-Rex, causing massive damage. Despite the heavy hit, he ran towards me, landing a jaw-locking bite. I sent powerful waves 
advanced towards him as he held me prisoner and I was able to escape. I used my nuclear whirlwind, sending him back with immense power. He retaliated with another one of his deadly soul breaths, but this time there were three beams coming out of his horrifying mouth. It was the battle of the ancient lizards, fire versus electricity. I was thinking the fight could go either way when suddenly King Kong came dropping down onto the robotic T-Rex, killing it with his massive axe. Nobody messes with my island. Upon its death, it dropped a note. Find the nuclear artifact and destroy it before Warden Godzilla gets his claws on it. If you do, nothing will stop me. Wither King Ghidorah. Oh no, they're after the final nuclear artifact. I have to find it first. On days 87 to 90, I explored Skull Island until I found a group of King Ghidorah's minions conversing with one another. They must know where the artifact is. I just need to make sure to not get caught by them. Now where do I hide? I looked around the area before finding a few taller trees close to each other. I hid behind the cluster of trees to listen in on their conversation, hoping to gather some intel on the artifact's location. Did you manage to get your hands on that artifact like the boss told you to? Yup, it's already heading straight for the incinerator. Perfect, the boss will be pleased with us. Hopefully we'll get a raise out of this. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Huh? Who is that? I ambushed the minions and knocked one out easily before they could call for backup. One of them managed to run away and tried to escape into a secret entrance, but I was able to defeat them too. I guess they won't be getting a raise anytime soon, but it looks like they led me right to the incinerator. I hurried inside before any other minions would realize that their little friends aren't guarding anymore. On days 91 through 93, I made it inside of the room where I found the nuclear artifact being carried away on a conveyor belt towards a pit of lava. I have to stop it before it burns up. I got an idea and used my powers to destroy the machinery, but the conveyor belt sped up instead. Oh no, that's not what I wanted to happen. I looked around, trying to find ways to stop the artifact's possible doom, but with the machinery destroyed, I couldn't stop it. The nuclear artifact was about to fall into the lava, but I thought fast and used my sonic boom to knock it free from the belt. I did it, I knocked it off. Suddenly, the mech who tried to kill me and King Kong showed up. Not so fast. Wait, I thought you died from the building rubble. The escaped test subject has become uncontainable. Risk management, no directive, kill. With no hesitation, the mech launched rockets at me, ready to finish me off. On days 94 to 96, I was fighting off the mech to claim the final nuclear artifact I needed. I rained lightning down on my foe, hoping to stun him, but he was unfazed and continued to try to smash me with his metal fists. He activated his missiles and I launched a warden beam at him. He stood strong through that attack as well, but it seemed to have done some damage to him. Incomplete data. Test subject proving more powerful. Activating overdrive. He he pushed me onto the conveyor belt to try and throw me into the lava, but I managed to escape onto the other side. You can't stop me. The artifact is mine. Resistance will end poorly. Submit to extermination. How about no? I jumped for it and obtained the nuclear shard, gaining five hearts, and my atomic breath became unstoppable. Test subject's power level is rising. Wait, wait. I guess in the end, robots can feel fear. He started to back away from me, but I used my powers to defeat the guard once and for all. I need to gather all of my friends. I need everyone I can. It's time to prepare for the final battle. On days 97 and 98, I regrouped with my allies, King Kong and Lara. I finally got the last of the nuclear artifacts. We're so close to finally beating King Ghidorah. I can feel it in my veins. But this isn't over yet. It's time for the final battle. Are you ready? I have to be. I'm the only one who can stop the Wither King Ghidorah. I've been working towards this for so long. I can't let everyone who believes in me down. I need to win for their sake. Let me go with you. With my powers, I can help you take down all his little minions, letting you focus on the Wither King Ghidorah. Hmm, that may not be such a bad idea, actually. I can use my potions on his little minions. Hmm, you know what? I could really use you two in the final battle. Let's finish this once and for all. Yeah. 
I won't let you down. We'll give it our all. Don't you worry, Bronzo. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. If only there was something to give me an upper hand in this battle. Well, I have just the thing to help. Laura handed me a potion of regeneration. Take it when you need it most and be prepared for a second wind. Wow. Thanks, Laura. I appreciate it. Of course. But I also have one more surprise. Really? What is it? Yep. Follow me. I blindly followed Laura, waiting to see what surprise she had in store for me. After a short trip, Laura and I arrived at another portal. This should lead straight to Wither King Ghidorah's device, according to the files I worked on a few weeks ago in the lab. Then we don't have any more time to waste. Let's go! Kong joined us, and everyone entered the portal together. On day 99, I arrived in King Ghidorah's fortress. A small army of his best minions stood between me and getting further in. The device must be be up there in the main keep. Then you all know what to do. Everyone, charge! King Kong, Laura, and I clashed with the enemy with everything we had. King Kong knocked them down one by one with his axe. While Lara threw deadly splash potions, they were able to clear a path. And right when I was about to make my way through, a large end kaiju came to stop me. You'll never make it inside of here. A kaiju from the end? Why are you helping Wither Ghidorah? The king's influence spreads farther than you can fathom. Nobody can stop him. Oh yeah? We'll see about that. Chaos reigned supreme as he and I clashed. The beast was vicious, wicked claws posing a deadly threat to even my hardened Godzilla scales. I called on my lightning powers to try and match his speed. I slashed at him, clawing deep into his hide, and he roared, giant violet aura slamming into me. I withstood it and readied my massive atomic beam. With one final move, I blasted him. He died and the passage behind him opened up, clearing the way toward King Ghidorah. It's time to fulfill my destiny. On day 100, I was face to face with Wither King Ghidorah. Your evil reign ends here. I won't let you destroy the world. You're too late. I nearly gathered all the power I need. Not even you can stop me. That's what you think, but I have to try. I ran in and attacked the Wither King Ghidorah with all of my might. As I rained lightning down on him, he shot black holes and wither skulls, exploding the terrain around us. The giant black hole he created hurt me so much. I was forced to drink my potion of regeneration. I blasted him with a sonic boom, sending him crashing to the ground. I went in for a close quarters fight, slashing and biting at him, with him doing the same thing to me. Quickly, I leapt back and blasted him with a huge atomic beam. To my horror, he remained standing. He had endured my most powerful attack. I realized that so long as the machine of his remained standing, the battle would never end. His power was endless. I have to destroy that thing. If I don't, I won't be able to cause any damage to him. You fool! I'll forever be the ultimate kaiju! you not without that machine, you won't. I blasted the machine to bits with my ultimate atomic breath attack. No! How could you? I was the one who was supposed to be the ultimate kaiju! How dare you! It's over for you, Wither King Ghidorah! Take this! I landed the killing blow, and I was now the ultimate kaiju! Yes! Bronzo! <laughs> <laughs>